Okay, so seems like once every couple weeks, maybe more often than that, someone leaves a comment saying, why don't you just edit your videos and do like commentary after the fact or like pop-ups with every card you play? And I don't think people realize how much time that would take on a 45 minute video that I make six of every week. Uh, and, and they're in 4K resolution. So like that's a lot more data that you have to then re-encode mm -hmm. later. So no, that's not gonna happen. And it, it actually kind of annoys me when people leave that comment because it's like going to a restaurant when you have absolutely no culinary experience and telling the chef like, why don't you just do this differently? So with that said, this is absolutely a ship hosting video. If you don't want to watch it, I suggest clicking somewhere else. <laughs> if you want to laugh a little bit and you find this funny, then great. So I'm on the play. I'm going to play an island. This is an island from beta. Not the dark version. And then I'm going to play a Delver of Secrets. This is the from the vault foil version. So this is a 1-1 one, one with fl uh, not flying. No, no, no. <laughs> and this is the backside of it. So 3-2 with flying. I don't even know if you can read that. It's so foily. <laughs> Your turn. All right. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play a Dream Root Cascade, but tapped. Okay. And pass. <laughs> He's not flipped yet. <laughs> no, no. Delver Dream check. Side. So at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card. Yeah, show them what it is so that they know. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna look. that's the card. Okay. So I'm going to reveal Cammy's Flare, and it's going to okay. flip. Okay. I'll play a mountain. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, you got me. That's a mountain also from beta. I own five mountains and five islands from that, beta. It's not the dark version, though. No, it's not the dark art version. I'll attack for three in the air. Okay, I got a 17. I'm going to write this down. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was like. I'll play a ledger shredder. What? I will show the camera the ledger shredder. This is a brand new card from Streets of New Capenna. It's a 1 3 for 2 with flying. Whenever a player, not just yourself, any player, casts their second spell, it connives. To connive, you draw a card, then discard a card. If it's a non-land card, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. The card that you discard. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Now I'll pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw. And then I'm going to play a forest. That is beta. Is it the that dark is art? dark art. Yes, nice. of course. Nice. Because uh, That's how the, you roll. That is how I roll. And um, I'm going to pass. Wow, you're not even gonna play a prosperous innkeeper. I don't have one. I Un would if I did. If unbelievable. I, did. I know. Oh, since this is on the backside, I don't have to do the double check. check. Yeah, yeah, it's already flipped. Yep. So I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna play this land here. It's from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It's the borderless version of Sokenzan Crucible of Defiance. So it taps for red, and it has a channel ability. Which, if you pay four and discard it, you can create two one-one colorless spirit creature tokens. They gain haste until end of turn. But he's not doing that. No, I'm not. I'm playing like, that card as a land. Yeah, as a land. Um, I'm gonna attack for four. Okay, I'm gonna go to thirteen. I pick up my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna YOLO you know and what? play another ledger shredder. You do what? YOLO. But but what are you doing? I'm playing a ledger shredder. Oh. Another one. It's the same one I just played. Oh, it's the same as that one. There. Yeah, it's the okay. same one. I'm just going to play another one. Okay. But I don't have a play with fire, so it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to untap, but they're already untapped. Yep. I'm going to draw. Hmm. I got thoughts. Do you have a lot of cards in hand? I do. Um, you know what we're going to do? I'm going <clears> to <throat> play this Bark Channel Pathway. It's the MDFC land. What does that mean, Garrison? That means that, eh, I don't know, the MDFC It's means modal dual face, face card. card or something. Yeah. <laughs> the backside's blue producing land. It's tied channel pathway. But I'm going to play it on the green side, the one that produces green. And then I'm going to tap all three lands that I have. Is it a topiary stomper? It is. I'm going to play a wow. topiary stomper. This I've never seen. This thing's really cool. I've never seen a turn three where you didn't play one of those. Yeah, I, I may. Do you want to yeah. read it to the camera? It's, it's green, green, generic, and it's a plant dinosaur. It's a 4 4 Vigilance. And it says topiary stomper enters the battlefield. I can just search my library for a basic land, put it on the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffle. But it can't attack or block until I control seven or more land. Which will be next turn. So I get to play it, and then I get to go. <laughs> Like dig through here. It you know, do you want to see my deck? Here's here's my deck. <laughs> what is a oh, lot here, of cards? Here. Search your library by looking at the screen. Oh god. That's yeah, let's see if you can do it. Uh. So he's not looking at the deck. Obviously, he's holding it way over his head. Uh. But he's got the monitor back. Oh, there right? it is. 
You want an island or do you want a forest? I need double blue. Okay. For coma. Okay. So I'm gonna oh, find. <laughs> need triple blue. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find a basic island. But this is beta, and so and it, it is the dark arc. Does that also. mean it taps for two mana? Nope. Just oh, one. Still okay. just one. And then we're gonna shuffle though. Okay. Um. In the essence I don't of wasting it. as much time as possible, I'm gonna wait until you present your deck. For, okay, for that's cutting. fine. Um. But I also don't think I have anything else to do because I'm tapped out. You're still that's, shuffling. That's how it goes, right? Like, there you go, sir. Would you like to cut? Oh, I you already did. Okay. Go to my turn. Um, you know, think about it for a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm okay. Okay, go ahead. Draw. Who I drew a doozy. We're gonna cast it. This is expressive iteration. Oh man, this has a lot of text on it. That's not the cool art one though. Red and blue. No, it's not the. What is the promo version or whatever? So uh, I get to, I don't even know, look at the top <laughs> yeah. three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, put one of them on the bottom of your library, and exile one of it's them. It's very important you read the card the way that yeah. it's worded and not you just may, assume. Not, you know not just read it the way you interpret it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to look at the top three cards, and I'll show them to the camera. So we've got an expressive iteration, a river glide pathway, and a ledger shredder. What's what's the river glide pathway? You haven't seen that card yet, though. We haven't. Uh, I'll show it when I play it. Cause so this is the trick with expressive iteration. Oh. Because okay. you only get to keep one in your hand, right? But you get to exile one. I'm gonna exile the land because I can play it. And you know what? I'm just gonna go all out stupid and take the sure. ledger shredder. So that's going in my hand. Oh. Better show the camera. But you better make sure they know that the other one goes in the bottom. It so it does. goes to the yeah. very bottom so of the, the library. That expressive iteration is on the bottom. So I do need another blue source. So we're going to play this river glide pathway on blue. What's the other side, though? It's it's red. Oh. It's lava glide pathway. I don't I want that, though. I could imagine, though, in the red blue deck that the MDFC land would produce red or blue. And then watch this. Everybody. Oh, that goes to the graveyard when it resolves. Yeah, yeah. My mistake. I'm going to cast that ledger shredder. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't show the camera. Oh. Ledger Shredder, same one as I cast it twice already. Oh, okay. So we've got two triggers that go on the stack. Okay. So we're going to resolve this trigger first. What do they do? I draw, well, I connive. You connive. I oh, draw yeah, and yeah, yeah. discard. Okay. So I'm going to draw. Hmm. I'm going to discard a slip out the back. Okay. I'll what, show you. Yeah, what? Yeah. Slip out the back from Streets of Nuke Penna, one blue instant. Put a plus one plus one target counter on target creature, and then it phases out. Cool thing you can do with this card: cast it on your opponent's creatures. So they get the one one counter, and then their creature phases okay. out, so they can't block with it. Nice. Got another trigger here. Okay. Well, you get you gotta. Oh yeah, I gotta you, put a counter you, you, on that. You yeah, put yeah. A counter on this thing. Yeah. Trigger there. Yeah. Draw. Hmm. This one I'm gonna discard a mountain. It's it's a mountain from beta also. Same artwork. So it's, oh hey, look at that. Okay. So there's no counter that goes on that one, right? Nope. And then this one resolves, goes and enters yeah, the battlefield. Yep. So then I'll attack. It's for one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I go to seven. Cool, cool. Your turn. Oh, okay. Already. All right. So oh, yeah, like that was a quick turn. <laughs> We're gonna draw. Ooh, spicy. Um, hmm. What do we wanna do? Probably just play a a land. Things. So and we're pass. gonna. I'm going to play oh. land. I'm going to play land. We're gonna play Boseju. Whoa! Who what endures? version is that? I don't know. It's like the Bordos version it or something. Yeah, it's the Bordos um, version. So this is. It's like that Sokin's on. It's thing, like a forty-five dollar right? land, right? Something like that. I don't know. But it adds green because that's my colors. And then it has channel. I could pay a green and generic, discard it, and destroy target artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land and opponent controls. And then that player may search their library for a land card with a basic land type. Put it on the battlefield, comma, then shuffle, which means untapped, if it can so be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this ability costs one less to activate for each And see, a lot of people read control. that, and they misinterpret it, saying a basic land. But it's Correct. a land with a the basic, basic type. type. Yep, yep, yep. So I go grab an underground C. Yep. So I'm going to... But not but not in this <laughs> format. It's just standard. You know. But, and I'd, uh, I'd be grabbing a volcanic island. She, yeah. yeah that's red. Um, so, all right, so I've got five. Let's see. You know what? You know what? I'm going to play Ren in seven. Whoa. He's going to so, make a reach creature. So I'm going to play reacher. Ren in seven. This, this is a reacher. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the cool version. This is the end of the night, and, people. <laughs> and it's the, you can't tell, but it's the foily cool version of the borderless one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's five. You got a lot and of reading. It's a lot I'll, of reading. I'll go yeah. ahead and hold it to the camera and you read it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have another one in my hand to read it. <laughs> 
So it starts with five loyalty. Doug's just down here in the corner, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I can put in a loyalty counter on it to reveal the top four cards in my library. Put all the land cards that I would reveal this way into my hand and the rest of my graveyard. I can do zero, so not put any on and not remove any loyalty counters. Okay. So just in case anybody wants to What happens zero. if there's zero loyalty counters on it? Um, it gets sacrificed and it goes sacrificed to the Sacrificed or right. destroyed? Sacrificed. Or is it lethal damage? It's sacrificed. It? It's sacrificed. <laughs> it is sacrificed. <laughs> That's like, it's actually in the rule. Oh, yeah, yeah. So okay. sacrificed, yeah. yeah. So, but zero, you put any number of land cards from your hand on the battlefield tapped, which is great yeah. for a ramp, you know? Yeah. Um, I can remove three loyalty counters to create a green tree folk creature with reach. I think you're doing that And one. it has power toughness each to equal the number of lands that I control. Or I can remove eight loyalty counters, if it had eight loyalty counters, yeah. that is, right? So to if you had Vorinclex in play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, um, do you have one in your hand? I do. Let's show that to the camera okay. so we can show so the like, combo. So, so this thing Here, let me, is yeah. just it's dumb. It has a lot I of text. Put that, yeah. So it's like six mana, and it's a 6-6, six, six, and it's haste. Yeah, of and course. Like, yeah, because like, why not, right? Um, I think it also has trample too, I believe. And then, uh, so I can confirm it has trample. Okay. Yes. So basically, it's like when Vorinclex is on the battlefield, any counters I put on my permanents, I put twice that many counters. So this is coming with ten. Yeah, and it, but any permanents, the my opponent will put on, they put half that many counters. Rounded Round down. down. So go, yeah. Yeah. One equals zero. So and like my mine is is rounded up. Yeah. Yeah, rounded up. So, but I don't have Vorinclex though. So. No, you don't. So I only has five loyalty. They would return all permanent cards from my graveyard to my hand, and I get an emblem that I have no maximum hand size. So it's going to start with five. You're going to go down three to make a tree folk? I don't know, though. I mean, you I'm at do seven. Have, you do have to pay for oh, this. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I have to pay for it. I thought it was free because you have more creatures than me. Sorry. That's not the way it's supposed to work. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to remove three loyalty counters. Spoiler alert, you lose now. Just to saying make, to make <laughs> to make this, which is the the, well, let me hold the tree folk. I can hold it a little bit closer yeah, to the I can't camera wait than you that are. Um, so so we're gonna make this this Reachy boy. Yep. And um, I still see can't what attack. I did when I said Reacher. R e a c h u r e. Reacher. It's a Reach creature. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I'll pass. Okay, you're dead. Just well, saying. I mean. I was probably dead no matter what I did, so it didn't matter. <laughs> All right, so this is the funny part. So that's a 5-5, five, five, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cast a Cammy's Flare on it. And okay. hold that on the stack. Okay, so wait, you're gonna, so you're going to hold priority. Oh, I didn't show the camera. Yeah. Cammy's so, Flare. And you're going to hold priority. So this re And I'll right. explain why I'm holding priority here. So Cammy's Flare, one red, one colorless, deals three damage to target creature, Planeswalker. It also deals two damage to that permanent's controller if you control a modified creature. We already control a modified creature. I want to control three modified <laughs> So it doesn't actually matter. So with that on the stack, <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Oh. So I've so got, it's probably gonna kill I've got three but triggers yeah, here. Yeah, with the second one. With, with, so you cast one Cammy's Flare. What was the second card? What? What was the second card that you cast? Oh, it was another Cammy's Flare. My mistake. I didn't show the camera. Yeah, so like, people they, they want to know. They would do. They, they do want everybody to know. wants to know everything yep. that's being played, though. Yep. Okay, so the reason I'm doing that is because if I didn't have a modified creature, I could modify a creature before they resolve. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. You're lucky. I do. I have a non-land card in hand. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll resolve this one first. Okay. Draw. Discard. Discard counter. what? Oh dang! You're getting me on this. I know, man. Spectral adversary. That's a non-land card, right? It is a non-land okay. card. It's a creature. It is a... I'm going to play this one from memory here. Oh. One blue, one colorless. It's a 2-1 okay. with flying and flash. Yep. When it enters the battlefield, you can pay one in a, one blue and a colorless. Sorry, generic. Yep. Any, Any number, number of times. times. Yeah. And for yep. each time you do that, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and then target creature, artifact, or enchantment phases out. And that, are they your opponent's control? No. Others. Just other yep. creatures. So okay. You can so target you, your, you target your own. Yeah. So I'm going to resolve this one now. Draw... Discarding this. This is Kumano faces the entire country of Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah. It is a saga from Kamigawa, right? Yeah, Kamigawa. One red. And uh, on chapter one, is it lore counters? Yeah, yeah, yeah lore, lore counters. counters. Yeah. Goes on it. Uh, it deals one damage to each opponent and each planeswalker they control. Ooh. Good way to snipe a planeswalker yeah, on one. I didn't realize yep. that, yeah. The chapter two is when you cast your next creature spell, it enters with a 1 1 counter on it. Okay. Goes really well with the Cammy's flares, and then on the other side, on chapter three, it turns into a two-two with haste. 
And should one of your creatures die by a source I control, it gets exiled instead. Ah, I gotcha. So we'll put a counter on that. Okay. And then resolve this one. Okay. Draw. I'm going to discard this one because it's my new favorite card. Okay. It's Reinforced Ronin. <laughs> it is your new favorite it's card. It's a two... Two with haste for a single red. I don't understand why they make such overpowered red cards. I know. It's almost as good as what what's the new Siege Rhino called? Uh I forgot. Workshop War Chief. Workshop War Chief. <laughs> so it's a two two with haste for a single red. And then at the end the beginning of your end step, it goes back to your hand, which is great because then you sure. can cast it again yeah. and trigger yep. more ledger shredders. But it also has channel for a red and a colorless to discard and draw a card. Which also works well with I haven't seen a fairy candle this. I know. So we'll put a counter here. It's because I didn't draw the... Resolve? The, the one guy. You take two. I suppose. Resolve? You mm, take two. I suppose. And if this was uh, on Arena, that'd be cool. Like, So this guy dies, because he only had five toughness, yep. and you dealt six, six damage, damage, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. And then I think I have lethal here. I don't know. So three... You know, I gotta, I gotta kill Ren in seven. I'm gonna send four at Ren and six at you. Okay. Um. So. Okay, four is more than two, right? It it, it oh, goes to okay. negative two, and then since it's not at zero, it's not sacrificed. No, no. It, you have it's, to do it's, it's zero or less. Oh, it's zero. You can't or less. have. Okay. You can't have less counters. They can't okay. have negative okay. counters. So and then so Ren is and then I think you take yeah. six damage, which puts you at. Well, I don't. Um. He doesn't have reach, right? Oh no, no, his vigilance. He's not a reacher. He's not a reacher. He's not <laughs> this this giant topiary, this giant plant dinosaur. This dinosaur. This giant plant dinosaur. He's not dinosaur. a long neck dinosaur. Apparently, he's yeah, the wrong, little, it's the wrong type. It's not like a pterodactyl or nothing. <laughs> Can't block it. Nope. So I do go to negative three life. I, I believe that's less than zero. So I think I win this game. Yeah, because I don't have anything that allows me to live when I have negative life. So cool. Um, and we're not gonna play game two or three. Because that video would be like forty-five now, hours well, long. Also, I'm pretty salty about this loss. <laughs> like, it just not like I only ramped once. I shouldn't like I shouldn't have played the Ren and Seven. I should have just played another ramp spell. You and, know what? And you shouldn't have drawn. What's really bad cards. is you only got to show two permanents, yeah. non-land permanents, to you the camera. You you shouldn't have drawn so many non-land cards. I really wish that in a match that it mattered, I would get a draw this good. So and no, I didn't stack the deck. This was legit. Yeah, this is actually shuffled. <laughs> yes, I mean I had these oh, hands. Now you got to show the camera. Oh, because well, you revealed them. So I had these cards that I could do. Like so I still had all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I just didn't we get already to play. showed. We showed Boron Yeah, already. you saw Boron Clex. And so this is another run. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have any of this. So I got, I got this, which is Thirst for Discovery, which is sweet because it's three. Oh, you were gonna cast that, but you had the stomper. But I had the stomper you instead. Stomper, yeah. Um, it's an instant though, but it says I can draw three cards and then discard two cards unless I discard a basic land, and like two thirds of my lands are basics. So you just pitch them, and you get to draw two cards for three mana, which is pretty good in standard. And then I have this one, which was Vastwood Surge, which I was, I should have probably played. This card played. is insanely good. Strict upgrade from Explosive Vegetation. Yeah, I don't know why, but like it's not. It's not focusing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get probably... it. I'll get it in there. Yeah. So there we go. So it's four mana. You can search your library for two basic lands, put them on the battlefield tapped, and then you can pay the kicker of four. So you pay eight mana total, and you still find the two lands. But then you also get to put two counters on every creature. Two plus one plus one counters on every creature you control. But wait, there's more. If you have Vorin Clux, it's four counters! Whoa! Combo! It's pretty good. I'm just saying, it's pretty good. I mean, you did completely destroy And then you have the new... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you have the new... Oh, this I guy's the this. new I Siege Rhino. For you. He's the new Siege Rhino. It's totally the new Siege Rhino. Um, because they always come in packs. It's true. You, you can't not. So it's... You had the three Chief of them in, is, in I did a row. In, in one game, three back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. It was great. Uh, so it's five mana. And then when Anders... No, it's not. It's not a five mana. Yeah, it is. It's Well, it... it it's printed as a five mana card. Yeah. That's not what it, that's not what it costs to cast right. it. It's five mana is, is what it's printed. Um, so it's a five three with trample. And when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life. And then when it dies, you make a four four rhino. So, so it replaces it kinda, itself. Yeah. And it gains life. Yeah. So it's like it's like thrag test, right? Like oh swag, swag, swag test. Swag, swag test. test right? Swag test. Except that the actual casting cost on this card is six. If you look down here at the bottom. Yeah, the, see, the blitz. Four, it's got blitz things. So like it also says that 
<laughs> you cast it for its blitz cost, it gains haste, and then you sacrifice it and you draw a card. So you're just like, Kapow, gain three, take five, make a four, four, draw a card. Yeah. It's really ridiculous, like, not gonna lie. But, um, the all-star, and this is, this is my baby. I was really hoping the last card was, like, an island. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> all-star the deck! <laughs> nope. I mean, it's my baby. So this is, this combo. That got spoiled, and I was like, Garrison, you're playing this for the next two serpent. years, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I only own foil versions, so it's really hard. Say, can you show us a version we can read a little bit? Yeah, that's, that's the hard part. So it's a 6-6 six, six for 7. Doesn't matter in a ramp deck, right? You play it on, like, turn 5. Yeah. Um... It can't be countered. Great. It's amazing. Uh, Ooh, look at the then, it, then it also has, the, like, the beginning of your upkeep. You get to make a 3-3. Three, no, no. Three, the beginning of each upkeep. Oh, the beginning of each cupcake. My bad. My apologies. I should know what my card does. Cake? Each cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you make a 3-3 three, three blue serpent creature token <laughs> named Coma's Coil, but it's just blue. Not both colors. Yeah. And then it also has, you can sack another serpent, not a coil. Any another serpent. serpent. So it could be any other serpent, and you get to choose you, one. It could even be another coma. It, it could be if you have, have a, a non legendary. Way to, yeah, if you have a way to get rid of the non yeah. le the legendary clause, right? <laughs> but you can sack one to tap a target permanent, and its activated abilities can't be activated. So you can actually tap their like planeswalker and be like, yo, you can't. You can't do, do that, that in their upkeep. Yeah, yeah, because they get priority, yeah. right? Or, well, you can do it like in response to them casting something if they're like not paying yeah. attention and do that, right? Unless they flash in a wandering emperor. Sure. Then she can respond. Yeah. Unless they flash in a wandering ember and then move to do something else. No, because she Oh, because she, she flashed. Fla if she was flashed in, you can do it at any point in time, right? Yep. Okay. So then um, it also has, you could sack a serpent and coma Cosmo Serpent gains indestructible until end of turn. Sick. Um, which is cool. But the, the like the cool part oh, about that. He's about to search his deck for a card. Yeah. Um, I'll find it. There's this card that Matt really hates. It's called Tamio's Safekeeping. Yeah. Dude, this thing is broken. <laughs> like, it's not even going to lie. It is a one mana counter spell that gains life. Like, what? Why does that not focus for me? Because it doesn't like you. Apparently. So it's, okay. You're probably Tamiya's, holding it at a weird angle. It could be. Tamiya's safekeeping. Ooh. It's one green. It says counter target removal spell. That's pretty much what it says. That targets not any exactly. permanent you can But not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> and it's oh, like. Oh, gain two life. Oh, yeah. Let's it's, throw it's that like, on oh, the gain, gain two life. Um, but it, like it makes them hexproof, makes makes target permanent you control hexproof. There was a video that you were in where you used the safekeeping on your dude in response to I think Craig's removal spell, uh, and then you went to com he went to combat and you blocked and you let it die. But it would have had indestructible talent. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention though. Nope. Obviously, obviously, which is like which is why this thing is so crazy because like there's so much that happens with this card that you just forget. Yeah, like it's just so good. You're like protection. How does it that doesn't work actually again? have protection. Yeah. You're like, protect that permanent, and then you're like, cool, it's it's saved. Oh, but, but, no, I but, forgot about it. Yeah, but I forgot about it because there's so much text on this comment. A lot of just uh, reminder it, text. <laughs> 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 but it's there. Yeah. I don't think there's anything cool in my All right, so That's if it. you've made it this far in this video, I hope you laughed a little, or maybe you got really Kudos. offended that we don't want to edit the videos and spend my entire weekend editing them. Turns out, if you don't like the video and you want to like say shit about it bye <laughs> yeah we're making content how we want to and we're putting in the amount of effort that we're willing to and i don't want to spend 20 hours on the weekend editing a bunch of videos so the thing about it is, is also a lot of the deck lists are posted so you can just like bring up a deck list in a i don't know other monitor or whatever well, on your phone or something so and been, look at the cards like it's been it's, brought up multiple times so like <clears throat> So we come, so everybody wants to have a little bit of competitiveness when they're playing here at the same time, but like, we all come to have fun, right? I mean, and, except it was, I yeah. usually don't, but yeah. yeah. Sure. But like, but that's <laughs> I'm just the thing. Kidding. That's I'm the not thing. not actually selfish. Is that it's, this is just a byproduct of what we do yeah. on a Friday night. So like, I, I think we've made a video about it. You could go way back and look because it would have been yeah. years ago. But yeah, like, now, I'm yeah. running events anyways, and like, the store had two cameras so we yep. just started recording them so we could re-watch our games and just try to learn like what lines we took that were bad mm -hmm. or whatnot and like where you try to cheat somebody yeah and don't realize yeah. it and, yeah. and that's the thing is all that stuff happens all the time in all the stores around the world yeah. but we have a camera on us that's why it gets noticed yeah and it's not that i mean no one here is trying to cheat um, you know it might be different elsewhere but like sure 
you know, we're, we're just putting in the effort that we're willing to put in and we're not trying to turn it into some huge channel where you've got hundreds of thousands of views in the first day yeah. and you're making tons of ad revenue. And that would be a different situation where we want to put the effort in. And if you go back and look, the I think the a lot of the videos, especially here, that have quite a few views are literally like just good wholesome games yeah with us having fun like yeah. just being they're, they're honestly not <laughs> with the exception of the videos where cheaters were caught during pptq sure um most of the competitive videos are i think they're too serious and people don't like watching that you got the people that flip their hands really yeah. fast <laughs> and I can't everyone gets to know i can't even I'm do like, it as fast like, as them but like that's yeah. just what happens with competitive magic is people yeah. start getting jittery and stuff yeah. So anyways, at this point, we're just rambling. So I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. I'm actually going to do an outro. Like, leave a comment below. And if you want to troll me, say, hey, could you edit the video and add some pop-ups with the cards? Like, whatever. And if you like seeing shit like this, like, I'll be honest, <laughs> it's fun to do something different. It's fun just to just different. bullshit and troll. But, I mean, <laughs> say something about it. Yeah, you know? leave a comment. Or just say hi. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a mean comment. Like, yeah. you can leave a good comment. That'd be nice. So anyways, wow. thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video.